over time, I've grown to really enjoy my own company. And like, I just enjoy being alone. I really enjoy waking up early around sunrise and then I'll go outside, I'll drink my water and I'll get some sunlight in my eyes, you know what I'm saying, real early. And it'll just be really peaceful because I'm standing in silence and just listening to the cars go by and you know what I'm saying, I'm hearing that and it's just very peaceful. It makes me feel a like such a an immense amount of tranquility, and like I just love like going to the gym and training calisthenics and literally just progressing and you know making my life better. Now I also like to socialize with people and get out of my comfort zone and all that, but I feel like lately sometimes it really feels as though it's hard to i guess relate to other people and understand what they are going through and how they are because when you get so used to being alone and by yourself you get to the point where it's hard to really connect with people you know what I'm saying? So you, in a way, you don't really, it's like you become a little weird in a sense. And I think this is very interesting because I found that, you know, over years and years and years of just being disappointed by people in general sometimes, I found that you can't depend on people in order, you know what I'm saying? You can't always depend on people to be there for you or, you know what I'm saying, act or behave in a way that makes you feel safe and, you know what I'm saying, loved and welcomed and stuff like that. So a lot of the times I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I just have like a very reserved and avoidant stop personality style I guess because it all it always seems like when I do decide to be social when I do decide that okay yeah I want to go out and interact with people it's almost like I'll probably like wear my heart on my sleeve or something like that it, you know it's always been like that in the past and um you know it'll be like well you know this person or that person, they they might not come through for me or they might not, you know what I'm saying, be there for me the way that I want to. And then it always ends in me being like disappointed or upset or unhappy. So I think over time, I just learned to kind of not open up for some reason. Like I'll open up, but I'll kind of still hold back a little bit. I won't really be 100% readily available or, you know what I'm saying? I still kind of hold back. I don't, I don't want to get too close to anyone to the point where they can affect my mental because in the past, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll have friends, I'll have relationships and stuff like that. And when things go negatively, it really can affect my mental health, you know, like just, just in general. So I just tend to stay to myself for the most part. Like I'm very reserved because everyone has a, you have, there are like millions of different versions of yourselves with different versions of yourself within, some, you know, from everyone else's perspective, they see you in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So people have these, especially like your family, maybe even your friends, but people have these expectations of you and things that they expect of you. They want you to be a certain person. And sometimes if you don't live up to that expectation that they have of you, 
then they're going to treat you a certain way because in their mind, they don't see you as a likable person or they don't see you as, you know, successful or whatever, you know. So a good example of this is, it's just an example, like your parents, your parents might want you to go to college or, you know, and get a really great paying job. But because you don't want to do that, because you just want to, you know what I'm saying? You want to start your own business. You want to become an entrepreneur or, you know what I'm saying? You don't really want to go that same exact route. Your parents may be upset with you or they might be disappointed with you and actually treat you in a different way, which kind of feels like it's like unloving and, you know, just avoid it. And they don't really want to interact with you because they feel like they, they just view in their eyes, they view you as a failure. And there are actually people like, like parents out there like that, that will do that to their own child and look at them, you know, they don't really want to accept them for who they are. And, you know, and I think it's kind of just, I don't know, it's just kind of messed up in a way because when you really love, like when you, you know, not just parents, it's just an example, but when people don't accept you for who you are and, you know, they don't really, just like, for instance, you're with a significant other and she doesn't really, let's just say I had a girlfriend right now and she doesn't really like my YouTube videos. She doesn't like the, like the content that I put out or she doesn't really want me to do YouTube. She wants me to just do something else or whatever, or, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like she just doesn't like to hear my voice or something like that. She shouldn't even be with me in the first place if that's the case. But anyways, when someone, and I actually did, like I dealt with a similar situation in the past, but when you are with someone or you, you know, you're just around anybody and they don't really support you or they don't really want you to do what you're doing or they don't, you know what I'm saying? They kind of, they kind of would just rather you not do what you're doing. It kind of drains you because you really care and you love that person. You respect their opinion. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of just drains you. So I've been at this point where I don't really want to give my all to someone or I don't really want to extend, like overextend myself to the point where, okay, I'm showing you this or that. And then you're like, oh, you know, because you know how you'll show somebody something, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll play, you know, if, if you're, if you're, if you're a music artist or whatever, you're a producer or something like that. Cause I'm, I do the same thing, you know, or, you know, you just do anything. You draw some art or whatever it is, you know, you work on something and you're like, okay, Hey, do you want to listen to this? Do you want to hear it? And then you're, you know, they're, you know, they're listening to it and you just feel awkward, you know, because it's like, they're listening and they're not even saying anything. They're not saying, oh, this is dope. This is great. You know what I'm saying? I love this. You know, they ain't saying none of that. They just, they just, you know, not saying anything at all. They're just, oh, okay. All right. Cool. And, you know, and I know I, I played one of my songs for my significant other one time and she literally didn't say anything. So, you know, when people, people do that, they don't say anything at all. You know, you literally, you literally just assume, oh, well, it's trash. They don't like it or whatever or something like that. And, when people don't really, when people don't say anything at all, when they just kind of just sit there, you know, just ignore you or whatever, you, you almost, it's almost like you, you don't really view yourself as very valuable because a lot of the times, like I know in my perspective, when I would make some music or I have anything that I'm, you know, just do anything, right? My self-worth was like very attached to it. So if someone didn't like my work or whatever, it just felt like they didn't like me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that person is just not saying anything. So it kind of just makes you feel bad. And then I actually respect people that take the time to, you know, they sit with you and they they actually tell you how they what they what they think about what you're doing like you know they actually care about it they actually care about you succeeding so 
you know, they sit down and say, you know what? I like this part about it. I like that part about it. I like your effort or whatever. Then they say, well, I feel like you should, you can, you can improve in this. You can improve in that. You know what I'm saying? You could, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, they show that they care. They actually want, they actually believe in you and they want you to succeed and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? When someone just says, oh, it's cool. It's all right. They don't really like it. You know, they don't really care for it. They don't really care. It's basically like, it's basically what I'm, you know, like you got to think about it from, you know, and I'll, and I'll be kind of like upset. I'll, I would be upset about this or whatever. And I'd be like, yo, what, what, why you just give me the, oh yeah, cool. You know, I, I, like, like people don't, it's like people don't have the self-awareness to, to know that they're coming off as an asshole when they do that, you know, but when people, when people would do that, you know, or just ignore it or whatever, I would be like, oh, why are you doing that? And it's like, you know, and they're like, oh, well, I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, you know what I'm saying? And say it's dope when I think it's ass, you know what I'm saying? And it is like, I never asked you to lie to me. I just asked you to actually, you know, take the time to actually care, you know, support, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's what a lot of people don't really do. And that's really the re one of the reasons why I, I don't really let people hear things. I don't send people stuff because I feel like that's just pick me activity or whatever. So I just tend to kind of do my own thing. That's why I don't really like interacting with people because when I have to interact with people, it's like I'll go home and I'll overthink. I'm like, hmm, I wonder what's going on. I wonder what, you know, so I don't know. It's just made me a little, you know, like just antisocial because of that, you know, so but socializing can also be a really good thing at times. You just have to be in the right headspace to really understand people and all that. And so the re and I feel like you should be around people that, you know, if you really want to have a social life, if anything, you should be around people who, you know what I'm saying, who literally want to be there for you and you don't even have to ask them. You don't have to beg them. You don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to say, oh, why don't you hang out with me? They just want to naturally be there. They actually just care about you for who you are and they want to make your life easier instead of kind of putting you down or whatever and stuff like that. So that's always been my biggest issue when it comes to having people around me. And yeah, and I think that having someone who can, you you know, you can show them something and they'll give you their honest feedback and, you know, not be an asshole about it or whatever. You know, I feel like that's actually a good person to have around you. Anybody who, you know, it's one thing to be honest, but then to be an asshole about it, you know, it's that's just not a friend you want. And you also don't want a yes man or you know, somebody who's going to uh, sugarcoat stuff like that. But when it always came to somebody showing me something, I I kind of just, <clears throat> I'm not a yes man or anything, but I, I, I always tend to like what people hear, like what people give me. I mean, very rarely do I not like something. It's just like, I always, I'm not really too picky on, I kind of like, I guess I'm a little weird. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but it's like I'm always grateful to, you know, hear what someone has to say or, you know, see something that somebody's making. I don't always, I don't ever really nitpick things or say, oh, I, you know, I don't like it because of this or that, you know. It's like most people, when people do that, there's, it's like they're, you know what I'm saying? It's like they're looking for a problem. They're looking for something that they can they're looking for a reason that they can have an issue with something. And a lot of people seem to be problematic because of that. And you know what? Now that I think about it, I think it just really comes down to a, 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 a spiritual, because a lot of people are just NPCs. They don't really think for themselves. They just, you know, and I think it's really insecurity really in the person that you're showing it to, because a lot of people are, insecure in themselves and 
and they want to bring you down too. So like in, maybe like in this, like if I had a quote unquote, like a, a, a girlfriend right now or whatever, and I showed her my YouTube video and she's like, oh no, that's just ass. She should stop. And it's like, you're just insecure in yourself and you, you know, I mean, and you shouldn't be with anyone, you know, just in general, you shouldn't be around people who hate on you and, and you know, and just say negative things to you. Cause that's just not healthy. That, that, that ain't good. But I tend to always, and this is something else, something else that's probably a little weird too, that, you know, you, you may be able to relate to, but I always mistake neutral with negative so if someone's just being neutral i'm like oh well that that's negative or whatever but i, I keep reminding myself no that's just they maybe you know what i'm saying because a, a lot of the times what we'll do as humans will and i mean everybody does it i'm sure that like, we will take things personally you know and sometimes you just have to ask yourself like maybe this person is in a bad mood maybe they're just they have something going on in their head, you know, they're thinking about something, you know, because life is really insane. It can be really crazy sometimes. So, you know, you you never really know what someone is going through or what is on their mind. So that's why it's, it's, it's very, you always want to be kind too, you know what I'm saying? Like when you see people, you want to smile and all that. And I've started learning that myself, you know, just smile and be nice to people, you know, it, 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 it's not really that, you know, it, it doesn't cost any money. It's free, literally. So, and I think that is the, one of the things that will, can bring you happiness in this world is just being nice to people, serving, you know, being a good person, being a good friend, you know, giving to people, you know what I'm saying? Whether it be thoughts, you know, like things that like you give them a gift and you have a lot not like expensive stuff i mean like something you literally think about oh i think they would like this so i just you just go buy them that or just do nice things for them or something like that or either you tell them things to, to compliment them and bring them you know bring up their spirits and stuff you know and once you start meditating you start doing introspection you start prayer and just building a relationship with God, then you're going to start to think like, okay, how can I be, how can I be, you know, useful to someone else? How can I bring value into someone else's life? And we don't always think about this when we are, you know, interacting one-on-one uh, -on -one with someone or in a social setting, we kind of just think about it sometimes. But if we could just think about that more, you know, how can I, bring value to this person how can i benefit them instead of thinking about how can they benefit me then i believe everything will be a whole lot better and and in a sense when you you know when you're always taking things personal and you're like oh well maybe they did this because they don't like me or i did something wrong and people will say it's selfishness or something like that you know it's a little selfish and i actually disagree with that i don't think it's that I don't think someone is deliberately trying to be selfish or they're just thinking about themselves. I believe it's more of an issue in the like in their their their, their thought pattern. They more they're just not they they just don't really have much knowledge and they don't really understand, you know, how things work because I think by nature we're always like we're all like this to the point where, you know, we we feel like the spotlight is on us. You know what I'm saying? We feel like the whole room is looking at us. In reality, we got to remind ourselves that, you know, nobody really cares. You know, everybody's focused on themselves. So nobody's really thinking about you like that, you know, not in a bad way or anything. But I don't really think it's being selfish. I think it's just a it's mostly a lack of presence. You know, you're not really in the moment. You're kind of just in your head. You're thinking a lot. You know what I'm saying? And then also you don't really have much understanding of social skills and this really used to be me because i would always take things personally i would feel and you know even you know even when i'm speaking or i'm talking to someone i would probably just talk about myself a lot and say oh this is my problem like i'm probably just talking about my problems but it's not is i don't think that is something that comes from a place of selfishness i feel like it's something that 
you just don't really have good social skills at that point. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a lack of good social skills. You don't really know how to communicate effectively, you know, healthily. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, and, and some people probably are, you know, deliberately being selfish. They're not really thinking about people, I guess, or whatever. But it's not, it's, it's usually not a you know, deliberate act that somebody plans out, oh, I'm going to be selfish today. I'm not going to think about someone else. I'm thinking of myself or whatever. I think it's more so of just having that lack. It's like a poor, like a lack of social skills and stuff like that. And I mean, and everybody does this from time to time. We all do this, you know what I'm saying? We're all human. So it's no use in beating yourself up for something you really can't control but you can work on it and improve it make it better and stuff like that i completely forgot what i was gonna say i i was gonna say something but i forgot what i was gonna say don't you just hate when it happens but yeah honestly i think for most people because a lot of people, they don't really take the time to really work on their social skills and really understand how they're coming off to people and stuff like that. I mean, a lot of people have the attitude, oh, uh, I don't, you know, I don't care and stuff like that. And that, you know, that is real good. I mean, it's good to have a level of not caring and stuff like that. You can, you know, you can say things and do things. But you got to find that happy medium, you know what I'm saying? You got to find that that sweet spot because, you know, like even like with me and selfish and stuff, I think it is very important to be selfish to an extent. You know what I'm saying? You do want to kind of be a little selfish because everyone is a little selfish because you're going to take be taken advantage of and, you know, people are just going to do you in a dirty way when you kind of just try to be super selfless you don't really you know everyone's going to try to take advantage of you because they you know they just don't they just believe you you know they don't believe you can really stand up for yourself you know like because you can't it's hard for you to love someone else if you don't love yourself, you know what I'm saying? So that's just a very uh, important thing to remember. And people will always say, yeah, well, I, well, I can love other people and I don't love myself. No, that that's, that's never fucking worked. That shit's never worked. It's like, you may, you, you may say you love someone, you may, you know, but you don't, but you won't be able to properly love them or make them feel loved. If you can't, love yourself or be there for yourself, you're not really going to be able to respect them. And, you know, that's something I, I went through. So I know how that feels. So I guess the moral of the story is that you do want to try to work on your social skills and understand that if you decide, because being antisocial and everything is like people who are introverts is very comfortable like we just we just don't like to really be involved with people like that but you know you also got to you also got to realize that as humans we are social creatures so we we crave conversation we crave just this socializing and then flirting and all that we cra like we crave that so i think that when you practice that it really makes you feel good it really gives you a great feeling you know what i'm saying because we, you know you get online and you hear all these self-improvement people telling you oh yeah just go get in the gym and you know make a lot of money and stuff like that and and get a bunch of girls. I mean, yeah, that's that's cool and all. That that sounds dope, you know. That's nice, but what about your confidence? Cuz I don't see many of these people 
many of these people that I talk to, they don't really advocate for mental health or your spirituality and stuff like that. And it, it, it's really like, you can't really, because I was there when I, <laughs> I was there when I was literally improving myself, right? I was going to the gym and I wasn't really thinking about my mental health at all. And my life didn't change much at all. N nothing really changed. So people don't really, and even, I don't know, people just kind of, I think people just look at mental health like it's, you know, it's something that, oh yeah, you, you know, you're weak if you want to improve your mental health or your spirituality, it doesn't matter. It's not even masculine. People think spirituality is feminine or something like that. I don't know. I don't really understand their thought pattern, the way they think. It's just kind of crazy. It's, it's just kind of crazy to me the way people think sometimes. But they don't advocate anything about mental health. And it's just, you know, just go to show you the people who are like that. They don't really, you know, this is, this is no disrespect to them. But, you know, it's just like they're just three dimensional, like third dimensional. They're just very superficial, you know, and, and that's how a lot of people on this earth are. They are very superficial and worldly. That's all they really think about. You know what I'm saying? My like, stat like, oh, like what type of job do you do? What this, or, you know what I'm saying? People just like, I don't, I just don't want to be around people like that. That's just kind of like, no, nah, man, that that's just terrible because, you, you know, you got to think of like building your relationship with God and being like having a strong foundation of mental health, you know what I'm saying? And fitness and being healthy. That is the most important thing. That is number one. Like, that's number one. And some people say money and business or work, being disciplined and masculine, that's number one. But that's not number one. That's more like number four, number three or something like that. Because next is like your relationship, your love and all that. Because that's the stuff that actually matters. Y you know, you can't have just to, you know, make the money and just the business. Like, like, there's a lot of millionaires who literally, you know, take their life because they... And, 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 and alcoholics too, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have a strong mental foundation and, and, and just, you don't find your purpose and all that, you don't really see a reason to exist and stuff like that. It's like, you're not going to really get very far. You know what I mean? And I know this video has gotten, you know, off topic, you know, I didn't mean to get off topic, but this is really about you know, being comfortable in your own, you know, comfortable, comfortable in your own skin or just enjoying your own company or whatever. And like I said, I feel like you should definitely enjoy your own company because you can't always depend on people to be there for you and, you know, respond to you the way that you want them to respond because everyone's always going to, you know, do their own thing. You know, not everyone's going to be able to be there for you. So at the end of the day, you have to learn how to be there for yourself and be okay with being alone. You know what I'm saying? Just be comfortable with yourself, you know? And definitely pray and build a very close relationship with God so that he will, so that he can guide you in the right direction. Because at the end of the day, that's, that's what really matters. God is what really matters, you know? Don't let anybody else tell you anything different that you have to do this or do that, you know? I mean, of course, you want to live a productive and healthy life and, you know what I'm saying, provide. But a lot of people aren't trying to provide and, like, a lot of men these days, they don't really want to get married and stuff like that. And it's like, so what's the point? Well, what's the point of you making a business and you doing all this stuff? You just want to get, get, you know, get, get women, get girls or whatever. What's the point of that? You know what I'm saying? I feel, I always felt like that was kind of silly, but I got to talk about that in another video. This video was already 30 minutes long. So yeah. So you found this video helpful. You enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Raheem and never give up your younger self rooting for you. Peace.